We're outside the Star City Hall Bureau. I'm Robin Doolittle from thestaronthestar.com and this is your Week in 60 Seconds. Two big things happened at City Hall this week. First, the Executive Committee denied a request from the Mayor to fast-track expansion of the island airport. As you probably heard, Porter Airlines wants to start flying to destinations like Los Angeles, Vancouver, and Miami. Sounds okay, except in, in order to make those longer trips, they'll need to start using jets, which means they'll need to expand the runway by about 400 meters into Lake Ontario. City staff say there's too many outstanding questions to grant conditional approval. Mayor Ford said the advice to delay was just bureaucratic red tape. On Tuesday, Executive Committee heard deputations. Critics complained about the noise, traffic, environmental concerns, and pointed out there's already Pearson Airport for longer flights. Supporters said the expansion would be good for the economy and argued that as per Porter's guarantee, the jets wouldn't be louder than the current crop of planes. In the end, executive decided, with, decided to side with staff. Now it's on to city council. The second thing that happened was the 2014 election debate marathon got underway. All five major candidates met at City News Wednesday night. The debate was sometimes difficult to follow, with long stretches of everyone shutting over each other. Candidates stuck to their talking points, and no one directly challenged Ford in his personal issues. As such, the mayor was a slam dunk winner. The Thursday faceoff at Ryerson University was a different story. John Troy fired the first shot. He said it was quote unacceptable for a mayor to quote con have continuous relationships with convicted criminals and gang types. End quote. Students asked Ford about the recent St. Patrick's Day video of him stumbling and slurring outside City Hall. Even the moderator, conservative fundraiser Ralph Lean, challenged Ford about his connections to drug dealers. Olivia Chow was a no-show at debate number two out of concerns over that moderator's neutrality. That's two down, 98 more to go before the election in October. See you next week.